I'm Steve for This Week With Cars, and today I'm here with my 1985 Porsche 944. I wasn't looking for another project, but this one fell in my lap. As you can see, this Porsche has huge truck tires on it, and I think it has a 2-inch lift on it. I don't really need another Rallycross vehicle, but since it's here, let's see how good it is. This won't be the first time that I've Rallycrossed a Porsche. I did Rallycross a Porsche 924 for a little bit. And this is not the only 944 that I have owned. I did own a red 944 that I owned until I took it as a pit vehicle to the mid-Ohio racetrack where another competitor saw it and wanted it so much he bought it on the spot. Let's take a look around the car and see what I'm starting with. There is some damage here on the front of the car. I don't know if they were rally crossing it or taking it off-road and they did some damage there. This car has been repainted has a pinstripe on it and all the badges on it are kind of non-standard stickers. When I got the car the hood release was broken so I just have that taped up here for right now. This car has very big truck tires on it. These are 235 75-15s and I think all the tires are a different brand as well. Looking in the interior everything looks okay here. There is an aftermarket stereo, but other than that, everything looks just fine there. One thing I did find in this car is this uh, sheet from a car show here in 2023, and it says the modifications, big tires, homemade lift, which I didn't know about, and it also says homemade clutch. So I'm not sure what that means. So we definitely need to take a look at the clutch setup in this car. The paint is doing a little crazy, and there is some rust in the rocker panels, but that's just fine for a rally car. Back here in the back, we have another different tire and mismatched lug nuts as well. Surprisingly, these huge tires don't seem to rub that much. And it gives the car a pretty mean stance. Here on the back, again, we have non-standard badging. On the right side of the car, we're missing a lug nut. And again, we have another different type tire. And moving up to the right front, we have not only a different wheel, but also a different tire. So I did buy all new lug nuts. These lug nuts are aluminum. And if you are going to be racing a car, it's always good to get lug nuts that you can see the thread engagement. So the stud will come through here. And I'll be actually be able to see how much the stud sticks through these lug nuts. And I'll also be able to tell if they ever start to come loose. And because this wheel does not match the rest of the wheels on the car, I ordered another Porsche cookie cutter wheel off of eBay, and then I have fitted the tires that I'm going to be running, which are BF Goodrich All Terrains. These are the Baja Champions in 215 75 15. So these are not going to be as wide or as tall as the ones on the car. These are basically the smallest truck tires that you can get here in the United States in a 15 inch rim. In Europe, you would possibly have passenger car tires that would fit this car better, but over here in the U.S., we're basically stuck with truck tires. So if we hold this new wheel and tire up to the old one, we can see already it's going to be a little bit shorter. Of course, the car is probably pushing down on the tire right now, so it's an unfair comparison because there is no load or weight on this tire right now. I think this tread pattern is going to look amazing on this Porsche because these are more of a pedestrian truck tire. So let's get all of these off and put the new tires on the cookie cutter wheels and take a look what this is going to look like with these tires on it. And to put things in a little bit of perspective, here's my Datsun rally car. These are the tires for that Porsche. Look how they dwarf the tires on the Z. So if I want to do any snow rally events, the Porsche will probably be the way to go because I think it will have a lot more ground clearance than the Z does. And I think these truck tires look equally as good as the real rally tires on the Z.
ready to go. Okay, so it does look like they put some shocks in the rear, so that's a good sign. Before I put this last wheel on, I wanted to compare the new tires to the old ones with them not mounted on the car. We can see it's at least a good inch shorter, which is half an inch in radius all around. The new tires are on now and all the wheels finally match. I think this is a good look. Now let's take a quick look under the hood, see if there's anything weird going on with the clutch. The clutch master cylinder is right down there. It actually feeds off of the reservoir for the brake master cylinder. So this hose that comes off here goes into the top of the master cylinder, which is buried down there. Everything here looks okay. Looking underneath the car, it doesn't look too bad. Not real rusty, not banged up. There is a non-standard union right there. Engine looks pretty clean. This car still has the air conditioning compressor. There's a tiny power steering pump over here. Looks like the power steering's leaking just a little bit. These cars do have transaxles, but the clutch itself is right on the back of the engine. This line right here is the hydraulic line that runs down to the slave cylinder. Can't see much from down here, but everything looks okay. Besides the leaking power steering, I don't think there's anything that needs addressed immediately under here. And that's going to be it for the first day of the 944 rally build. If you have any suggestions on any modifications you'd like to see me make, whether that's roof racks, lights, suspension mods, Anything that you can think of, comment in the comments below. I think the next step is just to get some miles on this car, see if there's any problems with it, and see if it's ready to enter into a first rally cross. So if you want to see more of this car, comment below and click subscribe.